Hi there, welcome to the RPS project. Today is just a quick video, but I'm going to have a look at this old Dell laptop. This is a wife's old laptop. It's a Dell XPS 17, the L702 version, and it's had what, eight, nine, nine years of good service. Worked really well, but it's not it's not done with yet, really. I still think there's still some more performance to be had out of it. Um, I want to use it for audio, so I want to Basically, when I'm recording like this, instead of using the microphone on the camcorder, which works fine, it's okay, it does a good enough job, I want to see if I can put a bit of software on this and use an independent microphone and, you know, record the audio that way straight onto the, this machine. Um, so, being a bit older, I've done some upgrades to this. Basically, this one has two, can take two hard drives. Um, so I've upgraded one to an SSD for the operating system and still got another storage drive which I might upgrade to something bigger um, which is brilliant so it's going to have plenty of storage on there it's a bit of a brick because it is quite heavy it's a 17 inch one keyboard is a bit wobbly so um, I've got this wireless thing, this little old Logitech MK250. It's wireless, which means that I can put it on my lap, have the laptop sat away from me a little bit, and I can type away and be merry and it will work fine. Because um, the keyboard on here is a bit worn out, a bit janky, but never mind. Um, and I've even gone as far as to upgrade it from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Now, the problem being is that. This system, this laptop, isn't really running at full spec. There's still an issue with it. It's running slow. And uh, I'm just going to show you what's the problem. So you, maybe if somebody out there knows what the issue is, or they've had this issue, or understands what the problems are with the uh, system running slow, what the um, solution might be to get it running, up, uh, at running at full performance. So, yeah. So uh, I'll turn it on, get plugged in, and have a look at what it is doing, or what it isn't doing, I suppose. So I've plugged it in there, uh, it is plugged in, I'm going to turn it on the moment. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the camera, and I'm going to freehand this. Hong Kong at the right angle. Right, okay, so I'm just going to pan this onto the actual machine. So you can see that at the back now, we just flip this around so I can see what I'm doing because the machine is here. And you can see it's plugged in. But what you've also got is it's flashing because this is the battery. So the battery is not charging. I found the battery is utterly flat. It's probably been flat for a long time. Never, usually the battery is not in it. Um, dongle for the wireless keyboard over there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. Let me just come back to me. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. And... Nope. Today. Uh-huh. Yep. I didn't think I was going to come on then. <laughs> A bit worried. Uh, but yeah, what we generally have is the issue being that once it comes on, it tells us there's a problem with the AC. And... I don't know really why it would have a problem with the AC. Um, it's an original power supply unit, so it's the one that came with the with the laptop. So unless it's gone a bit gaga maybe, and it's just not giving the right performance that it should have been. Like, I mean, perhaps the power um, range isn't, sorry, the voltage range isn't what it should be. Perhaps it's not giving that correct voltage out. So when it's reading it, it's thinking, well, the voltages are a bit lower or a bit off or they're not steady enough. And it's uh, going, eh, don't think this is the right power supply for this. But whatever it's doing, it's uh, it's sort of stopping the computer from running properly or running at full speed. I don't know if that's what's actually happening. But, I mean, well, hang on. Let me just pan onto it now and see, because I reckon it'll give me... I can get on it. Excuse the wobbly hands. I've never done this uh, sort of free hand thing before. And it's oh, we've got the circle spinny wheel. There we go. So I just move up to this. 
as you can see, it basically says AC power adapter type cannot be determined. Your system will operate slower and battery will not charge. This problem might be solved by ensure the plug is inserted completely for best system operation. Well, it's got the proper battery in it, proper um, socket in it. It's in there properly. So, hey, this handheld stuff's a bit dodgy in it. Get all wobbly, get my fingers to do it. Ah, oh, there we go. And as you can see, it's actually telling me that I have got 0.78 gigahertz, and yet it's a 2.3 gigahertz processor, and it's telling me it's only running at 780 megahertz, and it's stuck at that. I have done some stress tests on it, um, and it stays there at that speed, never changes. So it's top performance as well is 34% utilization. Yeah, anyway, so I'll take a couple of shots with the camera I expect and um, pop them up somewhere in the editing. But yeah, as you can see, that's stuck at slow. And there's no reason for it to be running at slow. And like I say, unless maybe the, the power brick is a bit dodgy and it requires you to have a working battery and a good brick, power brick on there, then otherwise it has problems. But if, if I need to, I'm thinking I probably need to change those two. Perhaps that'll work. But anyway, if anybody else has had any experience of this dodginess um, with one of these XPS um, laptops, whether it be the 15 or the 17 or one of the other versions, if there's something very similar, then uh, please, I'd like to know in the comments um, how you might resolve that, how you've sorted out the issue of getting this thing to uh, run at full speed. Or is there something else a bit more uh, fundamental going on there? Don't know. I hope not. I hope it's just a power supply brick. Anyway, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Subscribe, and all comments are welcome. See you next time. <laughs>